Hello there, my name is the Default Guy, and now you know what Taiko is and how it's played. You know what's a Don, you know what's a Cat. You played some Kantons, maybe Futsus, maybe even Hell Only if you're already a pro player. And that's good because now we learn how to use the Taiko editor. It's important to note that Taiko doesn't have its own dedicated editor like Mania does. It's basically a clone of the Osu Standard Editor. So if you have some experience with the Osu Standard Editor, you're going to have a better time understanding and knowing where everything is. So how do you even start mapping for Taiko? Because as soon as you open up a beat mats, it's set to, you know, Osu Standard by default. Well, it's pretty simple. Just go to the events tab and on mode specific, choose Osu Taiko from the list of game modes. This will change the game mode of your map from Osu Standard to Taiko. Taiko mapping focuses only on hit sounds and the timeline. To place notes, you must choose the circle and then place it on what would be the Osu playfield below. And then you can move them on the timeline up above and snap them accordingly. You may notice that every circle you place will be a dawn by default. So how do you get a cat? Well, to get a cat, you add a clap hit sound. You can also use whistles, but I will personally cry if you do because they are very annoying when modding your map, so please do not use them. So now you know how to get cats, but how do you get a finisher? Well, <laughs> I'm about to blow your mind, bro. You get a finisher note by adding a finisher hit sound. I know, crazy, bro. To get a drum roll, you choose a slider. That's why drum rolls are also called sliders. Note that the reverse arrows do not affect sliders at all. The only thing that matters is the length of the slider and the timeline. To add a shaker, simply choose spinner from the objects. That's why shakers are also known as spinners. And then you can move it in the timeline and set its length. Difficulty settings. In Taiko, there are only two difficulty settings that have any effect whatsoever. HP drain and overall difficulty. Circle size and approach rate does absolutely nothing at all since it's only used for Osu standard. Overall difficulty is fairly intuitive. The higher the number, the more strict the hit window is, and you have to be more accurate when playing notes. It also increases the number of times that you have to play shakers slash spinners. HP drain, however, is not that simple. In Taiko, the more notes there are, the less HP you gain per note. And the fewer notes there are, the more HP you gain per note. So HP drain basically dictates how much HP you gain per note. The lower the value, the more you gain, and the higher the value, the less you gain. This is why easier difficulties like Kantan and Futsu have high HP drain values. Since they have very few notes, they get a ridiculous amount of HP for every single one of them. And so that's why they have high HP drain values to compensate. Now let's say you're playing a Hell Only Marathon. Since it's super long and it's very dense rhythm, it's gonna have a lot of notes. And so you're gonna get almost no HP for every one of them. That's why higher difficulties have lower HP drain values in order to compensate. Slider velocity dictates how fast notes scroll by and is tied to the BPM. Basically, Slow songs scroll by slowly, and fast songs scroll by quickly. You may notice that in the timing tab there's a setting for slider velocity. The default slider velocity is set to 1.4, and this is the value recommended by the Tycho ranking criteria. However, 1.6 is also acceptable. I personally prefer 1.6 over 1.4 for two reasons. It's slightly faster, which is good for slower songs in my opinion, and quarter notes don't have an ugly slight overlap. Here's a quick comparison of 1.4 and 1.6. At the end of the day, you can use either value as long as you can justify its usage and is the same across all difficulties. One last thing you should know for now is slider tick rate. This is pretty simple. Slider tick rate basically dictates the number of hits possible in a drum roll. Now the value of this should be kept at 1 except for one situation. If the song is a swing song, meaning that it uses the one third beat snap divisor, then the slider tick rate should be set to 3 so that it matches with the song's beats. And that's it for the basics of the Taiko Editor. It's pretty simple and straightforward. There's not much to, to know, especially if you already know about the editor in general. If you have any doubts, do not be afraid to leave a comment or send me a message through Osu, Discord, or whatever. I'm more than happy to help. This is why I'm making these videos. And thank you very much to everyone whose names are on screen right now, who helped me make the script for this video, and to basically everyone else who supported this idea. Uh, it means a lot to me, the fact that so many of you guys were accepting of this idea and were kind of 
slightly excited in a way. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, it, I, I'm very thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Anywho, the next video, we're going to be discussing some actual mapping theory. We're going to discuss basics of color note use. It's basically when you should use a Dawn and when you should use a Cat. So, see you next video.